Do you happen to know how to calculate the interest with a 4.99 APR credit card, Amex, and then the minimum payment on the outstanding balance? So that's pretty simple because we're talking about simple interest. So the, you know, the formula, I'm just gonna make sure that we all get this. It doesn't change, it's the same all the time. It's the, you take whatever the balance owed, you take the balance owed on your debt tool and you times it by the interest rate. You're gonna get a number. You then take that number, right? Take the number and you divide it by 365 equals another number, okay? And then you take that number and you times it by 30 days. And that gives you an estimate. You could also look this up on the internet. Honestly, there's simple interest calculators and amortized calculators. But if you want to be quick and get a, a, you know, an accurate number, you got the Amex. So in her situation, American Express credit card times it by the interest rate, 4.99%. Get a number. Take that number divided by 365. You get another number times it by 30 days. And then boom, you get N. Gotcha. And that would be the amount of interest that you would pay about estimate for one month. Now to determine the monthly minimum payment on the credit card will vary. So to determine the monthly payment, this will vary. So it varies from bank to bank. I've seen as low as 1% of the balance to as high as 4% of the balance. When it comes to credit cards, personal line of credit, right? So between 1% to 4% of the balance of whatever you owe on the debt tool will be your monthly minimum payment. Obviously, if we're doing velocity banking, you take out the money, you start putting back in. By the time the statement balance comes out, that statement balance will be, will typically be a lower number than what you actually owed. And then your monthly minimum payment will be based off the statement balance, right? So 1% of, I should say, the statement balance on that car because it's showing that you, at the end of that cycle, here's what you owe. But maybe you actually owe more. But it's only because we were doing velocity banking. We're putting money in and out, in and out. 